Hey folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to answer to your question how to create a warm model or how to create a helical sweep feature, but with special preferences. So let's have a look. It's a new with Creo 8. So we will create new 3D model and I will call it, for example, sweep 01. And over here in the menu, you can see that we have a new volume helical sweep. So what does it mean? How it works? I'd like to show you. So let's have a look. First, we need the first geometry. You can create revolve feature or extrude feature. So for example, the revolve feature, it will be really fast. So I will create a rectangle with some dimension here. So later you can specify the dimension. So if you will create the center line directly in the sketch, the system will do not ask you for the selection of the center line so please change dimension as needed so for example 120 or 100 doesn't matter yep and finish so what does it mean we have a simple shape and now we are able to select feature volume helical sweep and as the first one the system asks you for the helical profile so you can create sketch before or you can directly define and specify sketch plane and orientation plane and i will really start outside of the geometry yeah over here somewhere and also i will go outside so it's a really similar to helical sweep because the system need to start outside of the geometry and then make a cut i will show you later what does it mean so you are able to change dimension and specified that's okay and also over here right now i will not create a center line because the center line first center line has been for the revolve feature and the second one will be for the the sweep yeah so now you can see that system asked me for the helic axis if i will specify the axis directly in this first sketch the system will do not ask because we will use the internal center line but we are able to select the center line from the previous revolve feature and then everything is specified and system allow to you jump to section and in the section again you are able to sketch section or select for now I will create from scratch, so create an edit section. The our starting point is here, middle of this intersection, and we are able to create really easy, for example, the, the rectangle only. Yeah, something like this with this dimension. Dimensions are OK, and we will finalize it as OK. So what does it mean? The system will create for us the helical sweep feature and you don't need to create it. And also the system will spin around and how I know it, because you are able to select here and see helical and orientation. So now you can see that's how the system created the helical sweep for you. For you. And also we are able to select 3D object. If you will create 3D object now, you can imagine what the system do. The system do that it's spinning around the axis of revolution. Yeah. And also use the sweep feature around. So really simulate realistic movement. For example, if you create your warm model and if you would like to manage some additional preferences, yes, of course, we are able to change the pitch. You can specify the, for example, global pitch. So for example, 80 or for example, 55. Yeah, it will be change it. Or you are also able to change it, for example, at the end will be, for example, 112 and in the middle, yeah, for example, over here somewhere will be, for example, 60. And if we will add the additional value over here will be some additional one here. Yeah? So again, for example, 80. And we have right now the variable pitch. But also you can still see here that now the system make the right handle rule. If we will change it to left, will become opposite. Also good. And if we will change the reference helix profile, for example, we will go inside a little bit. So I will change the shape, for example, like this and it will be visible. For example, like this, it's good enough. Yeah, you can change it and you can delete segment as necessary. But if you would like to have a look here right now, you can see how the helical sweep is created. So going down, touch the reference and go up again. 
you can create really complicated shape it's up to you so you can play with a helix profile and also with a pitch but it's not good enough yeah because you would like to play more with your preferences and we will specify for example right and also we will just jump to the adjustment and now you can see that we are able to change the angle for example from 0 to 15 and the system will spin the helix object in the x direction for 15 degree or 10 it's up to you yeah, you can change or you can change and change the z direction yeah like this so again the different shape and it's same again like in the reality but in reality you do not have these straight lines in the helix orientation 3d object yeah so i will jump come back to zero yeah and we will jump again to the section and over here in the section i will play a little bit with the shape so i will delete a few lines here maybe we can go like this and for example will be good enough we can try yep how it looks like looks great and also maybe we would like to add some more arc over here so let's have a look if we will add some arc yep also yeah radius is here you can see that the radius has been created also here and if we will play with adjustment we are able to change for example to 10 degree yeah and the system will change the shape so you are able right now to define the 3d model where the helical volume sweep is created you are able to create a different shape of the 3d object with a spin it around the helical sweep i hope so that you like this example and thank you also for your question stay tuned and bye bye vladimir